recently I saw Vegan Gains' physique update, y'all. And it's only every couple months that I kind of check in. There's not really even a time basis that I check in on the dude. But every now and then I'll try and check in and see, like, if there's any more nonsense on the war that Israel is committing on uh, um, Gaza. If there's any more uh, nonsense that he's speaking that I have to say something about. Because it's just harmful information that he's giving out to people who are already basically brainless and just believe anything their favorite online little influencer says. So that's usually the main reason why I check in now. Now, I recently saw his physique update. And I must say, bravo, hats off. Round of applause, you know. Sooner or later, it had to happen. Because I remember a couple years back, I told Regan Gaines on IG. And this resulted in him blocking me. But I said... I used to pretend that I enjoyed how I looked when I was bulking. You know, I did the same thing as you. I used to pretend that I liked the look of being, you know, a little bit more body fat, but being stronger. No man, no man really cares about that as far as it's in comparison to aesthetics. When men are aesthetically pleasing, it looks better to themselves and it feels better to themselves because their cardiovascular system, when they're doing lots of cardio, it feels a lot better. So you know, that's just the way it is. Now, he got mad about that at the time. He was such a meathead. He was so obsessed with gaining weight and gaining, I guess, strength that he blocked me for that comment. Now, just recently, he's dropped down to 208 pounds. So he's dropped about like 80 pounds of probably pure fat, some of it muscle, but probably around like 60 pounds of fat. Um, if you look at his clip from the Dr. Greger video, Vegan Gaines was actually pretty damn overweight. He was actually pretty damn big. And a lot, most of that you can see on him is just blubber. You can tell he wasn't confident. He wasn't confident in even having a conversation with Dr. Greger about what he was talking about. His, his confidence overall was low and it's clear by the video. So yeah, he's finally made the change to actually drop weight and be happier within his body and be more confident within his body. Sure, he might've lost a couple pounds on his bench press, his deadlift or whatnot, but who cares? Do you really want to sacrifice all your cardiovascular health, fitness, athleticism at that? For a couple of pounds on the bench press, that's completely dumb. Strength is useless if you have nothing to back it up with. If you have no athleticism to back up your strength with, then you're just a nobody. It doesn't matter how strong you are. If, you if you're immobile and you can't punch, why does it matter how much strength you have? You can't use it. So yeah, vegan gains have dropped down to four, uh, 208 pounds. And the reason I'm saying this is because I still remember that crap that he's talking about. He wants to fight. He could e easily knock me over if he came to the U.S. or whatnot. Um... I'm not in the shape that I'm usually in. I'm usually sitting at around between 180 and 185 at my like my optimal when I'm at opt optimal cardiovascular, you know, fitness and uh, you know my best weight when I'm leanest when I'm at my leanest state, my best state as far as cardiovascular fitness. I'm usually around 180, 185. Usually sitting at 183 to be exact. And just after my injury, I haven't fully gotten back in shape. So right now I'm probably sitting around the 200. Uh, 200 uh, pound uh, mark. So at the moment, me and Vegan Gains are actually really close in weight. So if there was a time that he actually wanted to back up what he said about any of, you know, getting in the ring and whatnot, you know, put all the put all the talk about genocide and, and the Palestinian kids deserving genocide, you know, put that put that to the side, you know, like if he was down to do it, you know, you, you, know, you come over here, you know, what I'm saying like if, if you were really down to do it, you're ever, ever in the U.S., like, bro, let's get it on. You know, like Kenny K.O. has done this. Like this man was supposed to have been fought Kenny K.O. a while ago. And he missed the opportunity. Uh, Kenny K.O. is probably not really even boxing like that anymore. But I'm sure if he came out and he was serious about it, that I'm sure Kenny K.O. would get back into training and make it happen. You know, but vegan games with all the MMA fight proposals in the past with all the boxing match proposals in the past he's never made an effort to make any training happen he's never made an effort to make any sparring matches happen let alone a real actual boxing match with like 12 ounce gloves 10 ounce gloves no headgear he's never made an attempt to make that happen so you know here's their f first attempt you know i can play some of the clips where you said you can easily knock me over sometimes it's not a feeling it's just reality. what is he thinking well once i get my passport updated sure i'll uh yeah maybe when i do some traveling i'll 
we'll take him up on his offer. On the internet, if you have a disagreement... Like, uh, the way, the way he throws punches, he's extremely off balance. Like, like, especially fighting somebody who's a lot bigger than him. Like, I can just easily knock him over. Like, I can just easily knock him over. Like, I can just easily knock him over. So, you know, I just want to bring this back up and make it rev relevant again, because, uh, something that I don't take lightly is just how you want to talk about Palestinian kids being a part of Hamas and for that reason that these thousands of innocent children they're claiming they're a part of Hamas and they deserve to get blown up and these are literal words that came from his mouth just watch some of my previous videos I can link them in the description but you said those things man and that's not cool so if you still want to do that we can do that and uh you know I'm not taking any debate proposals from your boyfriend Isaac um, as far as I'm concerned, he could get it too, but last time I checked, he was too busy not really even talking about animal rights. Same thing with Avi. They never really talk about animal rights. They're just running their mouth on, you know, the, uh, the topic of abortion, all these politics, things that don't really matter. Um, but it's never about animal rights anymore. So, um, you know, if those two morons ever wanted to try it, then let's do it with them too, you know, just in the ring, you know. Not you bringing any of your uh, BB guns or anything like that, but, you know, you said you make all these boxing match proposals, MMA fight proposals. Let's get some boxing sparring going on, you know. I've been ready. So, vegan game, if you're still down and you hate me, you want to beat my face in, come try it and see what happens. I dare you.